what is happening my beautiful pisces people i hope everyone is doing fantastic i haven't seen you guys in a while you know i'm a pisces and i've been bobbing and weaving just like you have and we're in virgo season so let's get into it pisces so, uh, first and foremost excuse me for my attire i just finished working out and i always think that i should get dolled up to do these videos but then I, one thing leads me to another and i get busy so the best time for me to do these videos is after i finish working out and so I look like this, but I know you guys are here for the messages not to see me. So let's get into it, Pisces. All right, we're in Virgo season. You know, Virgo is your opposite and there's a lot going on. There's a new moon tomorrow in Virgo. And so <sighs> Pisces, this Virgo season has been very telling. A lot of you could have gotten um, some aha moment, some insight, some sort of intel that maybe... Um, was a tower moment for you, right? But it was a catalyst moment. Maybe you found something out. Maybe, you know, again, some sort of information came to you that um, has made you think about, you know, the way you're doing things or, ne or need to regroup or to switch something up. So there could have been a tower moment. There could have been some grief or, you know, some sort of redirection for you in some sense. So let's see what this Virgo new moon is bringing in for you, Pisces. What is this Virgo new moon bringing in for my Pisces friends? Um, the card of walking away is coming to mind in this deck. But let's see here. What's coming up for Pisces this Virgo new moon? Very auspicious energy, Pisces. Yin and yang. There's certainly a, a, certainly a balancing happening, right? And also we're in a time where um, the day and the night are balanced, right? They're um, equal times of day and night, which is also your feminine and masculine energies within you are being balanced out. And again, it is our opposite. So that makes sense. We're in our opposite energy. So there's a balancing out. If you've been over giving to something, now you're retracting your energy from that thing. And that is indeed a balance happening for you, okay? Storm warning and healer of the ages. Yeah. I do feel Pisces, this is a yin and yang that came out. There's absolutely a storm warning, all right? Like I said, the, the tower moment, but it's something that's going to be very healing for you and very prosperous. So whatever that storm was for you, whether it's in relationships, whether you found something out about someone, whether it's a job that you're, you know, moving away from or redirecting your energy, whatever storm is coming for you, it's meant for you to kind of flow with it because the energy, again, there's mercury, um, placements, right? There's um, Jupiter's going um, retrograde into December, but there's a lot of things happening, very auspicious energy here, Pisces, and this is going to be a, a, a good balance for you of your energies. There's something that has been taking up too much of your energy and it's getting rebalanced. What else? Tell me about the storm warning. Tell me about the storm warning for Pisces. Virgo, new moon, storm warning. Journey, an angel of balance. Again, Pisces, a lot of balancing energy. You know, like kind of like that teeter-totter. We are in our opposite, so we're balancing out the opposite energy. And we're going on a new journey. I do feel a lot of you could have been seeing a lot of numerology. 1010 being significant and ending, okay? And going on a new journey. I'm seeing here, um, storm warning actually is a 10. And I'm seeing here, you could have been seeing a lot of twos, two, 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 the top of these cards, okay? So you're going here on a new journey. You're closing out a cycle here, Um and starting something new, all right? Contracts, if you had some sort of soul contract with someone or so, uh, some sort of um, agreement, again, soul agreements, a lot of you are moving away from something and it is bringing a lot more value. There was something or someone that was actually draining your energy, okay? And, and you could say, okay, well, I don't even talk to that person, right? But maybe you being around them or whatever it is you overthinking about that person you were giving away your energy so there is some sort of contract here that you got an aha moment about with this storm warning and maybe caused you some grief right because pisces you're a very idealistic sign so when you're in the virgo energy you're much more analytical and seeing things from a very analytical place and not so fanciful, right, can sometimes be hard for you and sometimes be painful. But if you take in this energy, all right, it's going to be very healing for you, Pisces. And it's going to allow you to go on this new journey and balance something out, Pisces. Because that contract that you had with that job, that person, that situation, it has come to an end. So if you continue 
to linger in that energy, Pisces, it's not going to be beneficial for you. You have felt your soul calling and inkling to change something up. And this is a very auspicious time to start something new, to, to get going on something, right? It's going to be very valuable for you. The temple path, this is the right path, right? Right path. Also, in relationships, you moving away and walking away from some something or someone and, and focusing on yourself is causing someone balancing out the energies. If you were giving too much Pisces, to a certain masculine energy or to someone okay it doesn't have to be masculine but if you were giving a lot to someone you've retracted your energy and now this allows this person to kind of think about um you know what they have been doing and and, and all that sort of stuff let's see what else we can get with this deck pisces virgo new moon what is happening for you a lot of you have been focusing on your health pisces your well-being um, a lot of your schedules have changed drastically okay i know that for myself um, my whole routine has been different, right? It's been deconditioning the energy of like me. I was always busy, busy, go, 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 and kind of slowing down um, and really readjusting my schedule. Kind of, you know how people, um, not people, but in a way, I haven't been downsizing because quite interestingly, I've been blessed more by doing less. But you are, you are, doing less Pisces and that's exactly what you need to do because um you know we've been we were giving our energy and attention to too much here all right door to value again door to value again door to romance okay so this energy here of you really balancing yourself out and you retracting yourself from certain things and seeing things very very clearly is bringing you quite interestingly, right? The duality, the, the irony of that, once you retract yourself from it, is when it comes to you, right? Because you detached yourself from it. All right, I know one more, and we're uh, gonna get a different deck. What's coming up for Pisces? This Virgo new moon. What is bringing you for Pisces here, Virgo new moon? The thinking man, again. What is this thinking man? Who or what is this thinking man? Tell me, spirit, clear and concise messages. Broken heart. Okay. Couple things, you know, you could have gone through some sort of like grief moment, but there's a person here that you retracted your energy from Pisces and it was painful for you. It was a storm warning for you, um, but you realized, okay, I need to heal myself. You've gotten a lot better at picking yourself up, but this person that you retracted yourself from is going through grief. They're actually getting the en their energy, right? Because I feel like for some of you, you were over giving to something. Maybe it wasn't physically, but energetically, it was draining you. You were giving too much to that and you retracted. And this person now feels the pain from that. And this is why, Pisces, quite interestingly, once you retract your energy, you know, you're balancing out here. One more on this um, door to spirit. Yeah, I, I, Pisces, you have a lot of clarity, okay? Virgo, your opposite here, you know, I feel like you're dealing with it better than ever, but you're getting a lot of clarity as to what's your next move, what you have to do. And you knew that you had to retract yourself from an energy here. All right, this person, this person, it doesn't have to be a male, but this thinking man, okay, that is now kind of brokenhearted um, about you, Pisces, this person knows that you actually are their happily ever after. This person knows that you are the true path to take. But this person maybe, you know, is not ready in their life or maybe they have some sort of, um, you know, family situation or they have some sort of obligations that they are not quite ready to detach from. So this is why you have gotten the intel from spirit. Uh, listen, you need to retract yourself from this because it's just going to drain you. OK, and you doing so is really heightening this person's emotions for you. And they are really realizing I feel like this person has full clarity about your connection, okay? Very interesting here. Very, very, very interesting here, Pisces. Let's see. Let's see. Let's get with another deck here. What's coming in for Pisces? Let's, I haven't got with these in a while. I pulled out some decks that I haven't used in a while and see what's happening. All right, what's coming in for Pisces this new moon? Pisces, new moon. Pisces, Virgo, new moon. What's happening here? What's coming in? What does Pisces need to know? What does Pisces need to know? What does Pisces need to know? Peacock. It's 
very interesting because the peacock, especially in the animal deck over here, okay, bottom of this, Phoenix transformation, but the peacock in this animal deck is all about is all about assimilating situations. It's all about digesting what happens. It's about a situation happening and you kind of working through it and accepting and digesting that. And that is what is true beauty, right? Because you have no stagnant energy within, within you because you are assimilating everything that happens to you. You're digesting it and that is the true beauty, right? And I'm pulling out, you know, I haven't showed you this, but the peacock fell here. So let's see what the peacock says. Inherent wisdom is emerging at this time. Watch it and ready yourself for a rebirth. So again, you're getting a lot of intuitive energy that it's time to switch and maneuver somewhere. All right, the finch, new opportunities and choices are opening to you now. Claim them. All right, a cycle ended and it, it's up to you, Pisces, to initiate, to start on this new one. All right, and the woodpecker, use your discernment and fortitude to achieve your goals and find a new rhythm. So it's all about finding a new rhythm, okay? It's all about using your senses and discerning that it's time to move. And I feel like your intuition is spot on, Pisces. Your intuition is so heightened at this time, okay? Um, again, and I'm going to reiterate this, I feel like a lot of you Pisces, depending what else you have in your chart, right? Virgo is our opposite energy, but you have learned to really... Um, balance your opposite a lot better okay and so you are gaining from this virgo season more gems than ever because you are learning and trusting the process right you're understanding okay what is whatever is being called to my attention even though it is painful and even though i you know I, it's it's pushing you to move it's going to be beneficial for you okay it is going to open new doors for you let's get one more What's, what's coming up for Pisces? So new opportunities, all about new opportunities. Ready yourself for a rebirth, new opportunities and choices. Find a new rhythm here. So it's all about shifting, shifting to the new. Black bird. The magical, unique qualities, your untapped potential are unfolding now, okay? A lot of you are certainly ascending. You know, before... I also had like a little tower moment. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is because, you know, focus on you. No, I'm kidding. But I had my tower moment and I had an aha moment and I'm like, okay, I, I have to maneuver in some, in, in some way. But before that, I had a bunch of dreams, probably like three or four dreams. And I kept having snakes in my dreams, a lot of snakes in my dream, right? And, you know, before you could think, oh, snakes are bad, this and that. You know, it's all about your perception. Nothing is ever bad, right? But I associate snakes with an awakening, a kundalini awakening, right? And there were so many snakes in my dream and, and different varieties and then the different dreams. Some were smaller, some were bigger, just like everywhere, falling from everywhere in the house, right? So I do feel, Pisces, that you are absolutely tapping into and ascending into new clarity, into new um, levels of awareness, right? Find comfort and balance in simple ways. So find ways to anchor yourself down, right? To, to feel grounded, honor your own time and harvest, offer your gifts and blessings of service. So you're getting new gifts. Find a way to create something that is going to help humanity, right? Find a, a, a creative outlet to bring to life these new gifts. All right, what's happening for Pisces? What is this Virgo new moon bringing in for Pisces? Virgo new moon. And then we're going to do a love reading next, Pisces. Virgo new moon. Virgo new moon, even though it is certainly a time Virgo season is not like. Virgo new moon. Virgo new moon. First house in the reverse. And it makes me think, Pisces, of this Virgo card. Exactly. Full moon and Virgo. This is full moon, but it's new moon. You are good enough. You are good enough. And this is the first house in the reverse. So something here could have maybe gotten you down. or Maybe something here could have um, awakened you or, or kind of like toppled you a little bit, right? But it's an energy of awakening. It's an energy of, of stirring things up here for you. Let's see here. What else? Virgo new moon. And again, Pisces, as our opposite, as whatever 
we are feeling that is rocking our core is only going to make you stronger, okay? Whatever this energy is coming in for you, we are working through it like the peacock, right? Assimilating this whole new information so we can come back bigger, better, and stronger, Pisces, all right? In yourself, in your physical, a lot of you, you know, are, are working from this heartbreak from this energy a lot of you are focusing on your health and you're like you know what i'm gonna get in the best shape of my life for others of you it's just changing yourself it's your self-awareness kobe <laughs> all right let's see what else virgo new moon what is virgo new moon bringing in for pisces virgo new moon pisces virgo new moon there's a whole new world whole new all right, Jupiter's going direct. So, I'm sorry, retrograde, empowerment. All right, so whatever's happening for you, Pisces, you know, again, the duality. Sometimes we have to experience the pain to experience the pleasure. So I do feel that maybe in love, you know, something didn't go in according to yourself and it made you feel a little bit down. Or maybe, you know, your money or something that you wanted to expand kind of hasn't or hasn't worked out. Maybe there's some sort of delays here in your money and in love, but all this is pushing you to a more empowered version. A lot of you are not staying down. A lot of you, again, are simulating things a whole lot faster and using this energy to empower yourself, to transform yourself, to change yourself. So whatever redirection happened for you, Pisces, it's only brewing more power more strength within yourself right it is helping you it is an ally for you all right one more of these cards and we're gonna wrap this up pisces what's happening for you pisces this new moon yeah unexpected things all right unexpected changes unexpected shifts pisces yeah in regards to love too right partnerships there was some sort of you know i do feel that Pisces, you are really moving away from anything that is not aligned with you. Connections, relationships, friendships that are not in your best interest. You're kind of, again, listening to your intuition. And you're like, I got to move away from this because I got to focus on me. And that is a whole new level of self-love, right? And this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that all this is to even hone that self-love within yourself, Pisces. And you're going to come back a more powerful version of yourself. So again, you know, there could be a lot of um, relationship stuff, you know, a lot of connections kind of at this time, people being rebellious or, you know, non-committal or a lot of things like that. But again, you just focus on yourself, continue to give that self-love to you and you at the end of this and Jupiter, I think goes direct December 4th or December 3rd or something like that in this time. Pisces, that is going to be a grand transformation for you. So I'm excited to see what is going to come in for you. But this Virgo energy, even though it can be a little bit challenging sometimes or a little bit <sighs> uncomfortable, Pisces, it's going to be in your best interest. So I love you guys. Happy Virgo new moon. And I will see you guys soon.